Hello, I'm Lee and today we're going to talk about the Cork Electribe and how you can get more out of it using alternate routing. I've used this method a lot by now but haven't really seen other people doing it on YouTube so I hope that some of you will find this useful. As you probably know if you have used this machine before, it internally comes with two ways of how to add an effect to your sound. One is the pattern FX, which influences each pad individually, and the second one is the master FX, which delivers the same effect to all of your pads alike if you activate the MFX send. Here I'm adding a tremolo to the bass using the pattern FX and also a slicer effect using the master FX. On the second pad I want to have a flanger using the pattern FX, but I don't need the master FX which is the slicer, therefore the MFX send is turned off. But what if I don't want to have the same master effect on every pattern and at the same time the pattern FX just isn't enough? For example, the pattern FX section doesn't have a reverb, but I don't want to waste the master FX to a reverb. So here's an example of what I like to do about it. The Electribe has a stereo output, so that's two channels. I'm going to use this to split my pads into two sections by stereo panning. In this case the bass sound will only leave through the left channel and the other one only through the right channel. Now the bass pattern, which already has two effects on it, will be equipped with another effect, which is an external distortion pedal. Because of the panning I did before, the pedal only affects the output of the left channel. Then I do it the other way around, with all sounds and patterns that are panned to the right channel. The mono signal goes into this delay and leaves the pedal through the stereo out. For that I use the ping pong delay. And man is that thing dusty, ugh. So now I have made two different effect channels extra. One is distorted and one has a delay on it. Now, when I go into my mixer, I can even adjust different amounts of reverb to each channel separately, which is a huge expansion. And of course, I can still send them more to the left or more to the right individually. And that's it. I hope you find this useful and if you're interested in more Electribe content, be sure to subscribe to this channel and I hope to see you very soon.